I'm Jim Riley and welcome to Meet the Chef, the show that takes you to all the local restaurants in our community. Today we're on the Hudson River in Queemans at Yanni's 2 and I'm here to see my old pal Mark Yanni. Mark? Hey Jim, welcome to Yanni's 2. I'll be right up. Mark, you like me coming up in the boat there? That was pretty impressive, don't you uh, think? Great, it's awesome. Perfect day for it and uh, I'm just glad you're here. Well, the Hudson River, Yanni's 2, it's one and the same. This yeah. is where we come. During the season, we want to be at Yanni's too, and we want to really get comfortable and be here with friends and family. It's a great idea, huh? Absolutely. We've been here 14 years. I can, wow. Can you believe 14 years already? And, um, you know, we've grown every year. Yeah. And uh, I have the same staff that's been with me for uh, 14 years. I have cooks that have been with wonderful. me. That's wonderful. Wait staff been with, uh, with me. It's It's been Remarkable. All right, let's introduce people to you because they want to know who Mark Yanni is. And we, we will talk about the Calamari King later, but we'll, <laughs> we'll hold that for right now. But you uh, you went to culinary. You're I a big time guy. I, I graduated from the Culinary Institute in uh, 83. Yeah. <laughs> and then you went around the country. Give us a little tour of where you've been. Uh, well, I graduated uh, in 83. Uh, I went to Baton Rouge, Louisiana, where I did my externship. Right. Worked under a French chef. Mm -hmm. Um Came back. Uh, I was in Raleigh, North Carolina. Right. Uh, I was there for two years. I left there. We opened a hotel in Galveston, Texas. Right. San Luis Hotel, a premier hotel. Uh, I was in Galveston, Texas uh, two years. And then I went out to San Francisco. Yeah. Back then, at that time, San Francisco, New Orleans, uh, those were the the most happening places yeah. in the country. And that's where you wanted to be. I, I wanted yeah. to be. And uh, so I was out there for two years, and then I was in Sacramento. Um, I worked at uh, Scott's Seafood Restaurant. At that time, was the 28th busiest independent restaurant in the United States. You learned something there. You either learned or you're out of the business, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, it was a high volume. I think that's where I got a lot of my uh, fish knowledge. Right. Uh, we yeah. had three fish cutters, uh, guys cutting calamari. Uh, so that was that was a real. Um, Good experience for me. Oh, it's also an eye opener to say, do you want to be in the business or you don't want to be in the business? When you get that choke collar on, you got to deliver. You learn, you really want to be there. If you want to work every night, holiday, and weekend, this is a great business. <laughs> it's a great, <laughs> great business to be in. But you've been here for 14 years. You also said this is family business. So tell us a little bit about that. Uh, yeah, uh, my wife, Lori, and my two daughters, uh, Sarah and Shelby. Right. Uh, we've had four restaurants, all waterfront properties. Uh, well, my first restaurant was my little restaurant on Main Street. In and Virginia. I told you, that was still my yeah. favorite restaurant. And I, I love Yanni's too, but that was my first introduction to yeah. you as a chef yeah. and your restaurant. It was a storefront, Main Street of Ravina. It was gourmet out of this world. Ten tables, 30 seats. The kitchen was about as big as... Uh, a closet, uh, but we, well, big as this table. You were saying we couldn't do the shoot today. No, we couldn't get all these guys kitchen. in there. Uh, <laughs> uh, but that, that's where it all started, and, and that started uh, 15 years ago. Right. Uh, then we were down in Athens. Uh, we were there two years, and um, we were in New Baltimore. And uh, here has been our flagship. Uh, we do our best work here. It's it's great. The Queemans Landing Marina is a beautiful property. Uh, sitting outside, we have the two huge decks. Uh, it's, it's just it's been terrific. a pleasure. Now, you were telling me that you really like to invite everyone to come here, join your family, join their friends. You said you have things like special events on the deck and you have some music. Tell us something about that. Uh, well, Labor Day, uh, or Memorial Day to Labor Day, we have a Roy, uh, uh, our oyster bar uh, where we shuck oysters and clams. And um, we also do entertainment where we have a little somebody singing out on the deck. Uh, we do special events every month, whether it's a lobster bake or a clam bake. Oh, I like that idea. Uh, yeah. We roast a whole pig and do a, a, a barbecue. Right. Uh, we also dabble in uh, barbecue also. We, we've done quite well in Troy. Uh, we've won first place in the People's Choice Award for nice. Best Ribs. Nice. And uh, we've won Best Chicken. Yeah. And last year we won uh, uh, second place brisket. Wonderful. So I just Wonderful. need the coveted pulled pork and then hopefully then you're, you're gonna go from there yeah. but I have to tell you and I love all the barbecue stuff but I'm really looking forward to all your seafood stuff because yeah. I know that you're you're just somebody that loves working with the seafood and you really really enjoy that you you, you never know what we're gonna have uh, I talk to my fish guys all the time they tell me what I should get uh, seafood comes in 
all the time. Uh, we're always doing uh, very unique, different styles of preparation. Um, well, what I like is you said you get all your stuff out of Boston. And again, a big part of what you do is the freshness and the special items. You mentioned the clams. There's something special about the clams that you have. Well, the Rhode Island Little Necks, uh, on Sundays, we do uh, a dozen of Rhode Island. We make up this garlic, wine, lemon mixture. We steam the clams in that, and you just want to drink the broth. Oh, yeah. You know, dip some bread in there, and, uh, you're, and you're sitting outside in the summer. I mean, it just gets no better. You can't beat that at all. No, no. All right. I love that. Listen, we're going to be back after a few messages, because what we're going to do is move into the kitchen, and we're going to see the expert at work. Don't forget, Mark Yanni is the Calamari King. Nestled in our majestic Hudson Valley is Polassi's Crystal Palace, famous for our excellence of service, cuisine, affordability, and creatively planned wedding receptions. We offer a spacious lobby, cocktail lounge, and elegant Crystal Palace ballroom. We serve in the true Italian tradition. Food is abundant and delicious. Our Roman gardens include fountains, flowered walkways, statues, bridge and gazebo, perfect for all your memorable photos. All of us at Palazzi's Crystal Palace are here to make your momentous day perfect. Every Sunday, Grandpa Pete would slowly cook his tomato sauces for hours, using only the finest Italian herbs, imported olive oil, plum tomatoes, and love. Our all-natural Sunday sauces are now available for your family in four delicious flavors and complete authentic Italian dinner packs that will satisfy the most discriminating palate. Dinner packs or Sunday sauces delivered fresh from our kitchen to your dinner table. For ordering information, GrandpaPete.com. We hope you're enjoying Meet the Chef. Remember, it's local, it's real people in our community, and it's exclusively on Mid-Hudson Cable Vision's Channel 11. To be a local sponsor of this program or to have your restaurant featured on Meet the Chef, please contact us at 828-2500, extension 8207 for details. If you're looking for a new car, truck, or SUV, check out Crossroads Ford in Ravina. With a huge inventory ready to roll out the door, the sales team is ready to make great deals. Come take a test drive or check out their website for what's available. Crossroads Ford Complete Service Department will keep your vehicle running great. Crossroads Ford in Ravina, proud to be a 2011 President Award winner, the only one in a 75-mile radius. Welcome back. Mark, I know you're the Calamari King, but you're telling me about all the fresh seafood you had. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, Jim. Uh, you know, we've been here 14 years. Uh, we have whole belly clams from uh, Cape Cod. Uh, we're the only one in the area that has them. We have fresh sea scallops, our oysters, uh, frying oysters, fresh um, Connecticut Blue Points, Rhode Island Little Necks, and of course, the calamari, Jim. Now, you told me of something special. Are you going to put a salmon out here? Yeah. You're going to do a little work on yeah, the salmon. Yeah, let's, let's uh, see that. Let's take a little look. We got some uh, fresh salmon in. That is serious salmon. Huh? That you know, is serious they salmon. They are catching stripers out uh, in the Hudson <laughs> River like the, uh, right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fillet this, and then uh, we're going to make you a, a beautiful salmon lunch dinner. And I'll take care of that, too. All right. All sounds right. great. Fabulous. You like to uh, you like to fillet fish, Jim? No, I, I like to watch you fillet oh, fish. Oh, I was gonna say because you know it's uh, a skill like anything else, but I, you know I don't have time to learn this. This is too sophisticated for me. Absolutely. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, this is like a, a 13 pound fish. I was just gonna ask you that. Yeah, that's a good size salmon, no question. There look, you go. Look at that, huh? There How beautiful oh, is that? That's amazing. Yeah, that is so amazing. Our, our seafood comes in from Boston uh, seven days a week. I got great fish purveyors. And, uh, you know, uh, people come down here, they expect the freshest seafood. So that's what we do. Well, it's something that really makes this a distinctive restaurant. I mean, it's just so special. We looked at your menu outside, and when you look at things like salmon and the oysters and the scallops, I mean, it's just wonderful. It's so fresh. And you know, being seasonal too uh, is nice because uh, you know we we run with the season. Uh, you know, right now I got a guy that's picking fiddlehead ferns for me. Right. You know, fiddleheads are only around for a short time, 
And, uh, you know, the other thing that's nice is uh, we do three different vegetables every night on our, on our dinner. Right. So you get a nice value, and uh, you're getting fresh, uh, fresh stuff all the time. So I'm going to bring this right over for you. Great. See, I Great. do the skill part, too. I, you, I can hold the tray. Well, let's see. Are you hungry? You want the whole filet? No, no. Cut you just a nice little, yeah, we'll take a piece nice little center cut there for yeah. you? Oh, that's wonderful. Huh? Wonderful. Look how nice, huh? Oh, this that thing was swimming yesterday. That's fine for me. Beautiful. You know what I mean? All right. So we'll take this over and uh, we'll start your lunch. Great. All right, Jim. Now uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take our fish. Yeah. If you can help me. I will do that. Uh, you're going to take, uh, this is our this daddy is salt. A little uh, it's sprinkle. A little, little sprinkle on both sides. Okay. All we'll right. Turn her over. Look how beautiful that fish oh, is. It, it, I can't believe the we're, way you prepared just that. And a little it. Oh. lightly flour. Oh, nice, okay. nice. I should have given you an apron. There you go. All right, now, now what you do is you dust it off. Dust it. We're All gonna, right, now we're, we're here. We're going to come over here, and uh, what we do is uh, we put it on there. Wonderful. I'm cleaning up my shirt now. And what we do is we're going to grill this for about maybe three minutes on one side. Right. Three minutes on the other. It gets a nice little crust. Right. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to serve this on with our uh, rice peel off and our, our fresh vegetables. Wonderful. Now later on, you're going to give me the tour of the plate as well. So we can understand you sat, had the special item that we're going to talk about later. Well, you know, the other thing is I can't let you go without the calamari. making the calamari. All right, well, so now we're going to show everybody all the secrets uh, at, at of our Yanni's, famous calamari. At Yanni's soup. Mark, you ready? Yanni, the calamari king. All right. Love it. Let's try. You right. ready to go? We'll go down here and let's uh, do that. We'll, we'll make that while this is cooking because we have a, a few we minutes. We got a couple minutes. All right, good. Okay, Jim, as promised, this is the famous calamari that uh, everybody comes for. And that's why you're known as the calamari king. Absolutely. All right. You know, there's a lot of different squid out there, and uh, this is a, a specific squid that we get. Uh, it's nice, small, tender. Yes. Because okay. it's very important to have the tender color. Absolutely. Yeah. So you take it, you flour it, you get all the excess out of there. flour off. Now I gotta tell you, this thing cooks so quickly. You have to really now, keep an eye on it. Now the real secret is this here, this is the sauce. This is called this is a garlic wine sauce. We call it the love sauce. The love sauce. And you know, there's a lot of places that fry calamari yes. uh, with a breading on it. It's yep. a little bit heavy. Right. Um, the dip it in marinara. Uh, what we do is we do calamari six different ways here. Right. And this is the original. Right. Uh, it cooks so quickly. We toss it in this sauce. Right. And then I'm going to put the other toppings on it, and you're going to try it four different ways. Absolutely. All right. I'm here. I'm ready for calamari. So just about another few seconds on this. Now we do a Rhode Island style where if you go over to Rhode Island, they put uh, chopped banana peppers. Oh, okay. A little spicy. A little, little spicy. Yeah. Then what we do is a chipotle aioli. Right. Which is a smoked jalapeno, so it's a little bit spicy. Right. We have the garlic wine and then our calamari red. Uh, we take marinara, mix it with the original sauce, so you have this Got nice it. light lemon. Right. Very good. Okay. But I like the special sauce. See, uh, this is my kind. Of yeah, this is a lot of people come just for uh, just for the original. Um, they like it all. Now you see how crispy yeah. and light. There's not a lot of sauce in there. No. Just enough to coat it. You have something fried. You got to sprinkle a little bit of salt in there. You have to have that. Okay. Then we're, yep. what we're going to do is we're going to come over, take a little chopped parsley. All right. And I like the parsley because it looks like I know what I'm doing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's so, fabulous. What's nice about this, Jim, is, you know, even though there's sauce on something that's fried, uh, it's very light. And, uh, right, we'll squeeze a little fresh lemon on there for you. Okay. And uh, I got some cherry peppers. We're going to do some for the Rhode Island style. And uh, go ahead and try right. and see what Let's you think. Oh, oh. I'm sorry. You are definitely the calamari king. This is unbelievable. Yeah, that's you great stuff. You don't mind stuff. I'm gonna spice this up a little bit. Absolutely. Ah. Oh my God. All right, let's try to work. to die for. Oh my God. Mm. Perfect calamari. You know, my producer told me I have to stop eating so much because he can't understand me. 
I don't care. I gotta have the calamari. Awesome. This is fabulous. Oh. Mm. It's so tender. See, that's the only thing I worry about with calamari. It can it can be tough, it can be rubbery. Yeah. This is like heaven. This is absolute there's, heaven. There's so many different types of squid out there. There's thicker ones. I used to live in California. Uh, we used to oh. have the Monterey Bay, which is a little thicker. Yeah. Very good squid, very tasty, right. mm -hmm. but you're right. It is... Uh, just a little chewier, I yeah. would call it. This is light. If, if you want to cook tender. it, mm -hmm. it also gets tough. Well, I'm, that's why you were surprised how quickly... Yeah, sure. No, I hear. <laughs> <laughs> he loves... Excuse me, I got just a little bit more. Oh, that's the fantastic. Calamari King is out of this world. Oh, oh, bravo. Awesome. Bravo. I'm going to go over, check your salmon, and uh, I think your salmon's going to be ready, and uh, right. let's sit down and eat. Thanks, And Mark. then I got, a, I got a nice dessert for you, too, also. Oh, we'll take care of it. All right. All sounds right. great. All right, Jim, salmon's ready. All right. All right. Now, this is the love sauce. Once this is again. the love sauce. Now. And uh, we just put a little uh, love just sauce a little on bit there. around the edge. Beautiful. Is that good? Uh, a little more. All right. Oh, they are perfect. Oh yeah, see I've got skills. Oh yeah, now you got a nice salmon, fresh, swimming yesterday. It gets no better than that. Sitting no, on the water. It, it really doesn't. We'll go out and try it out now. All right, sounds great. Nestled in our majestic Hudson Valley is Polassi's Crystal Palace, famous for our excellence of service, cuisine, affordability, and creatively planned wedding receptions. We offer a spacious lobby, cocktail lounge, and elegant Crystal Palace ballroom. We serve in the true Italian tradition. Food is abundant and delicious. Our Roman gardens include fountains, flowered walkways, statues, bridge and gazebo, perfect for all your memorable photos. All of us at Palazzi's Crystal Palace are here to make your momentous day perfect. Every Sunday, Grandpa Pete would slowly cook his tomato sauces for hours, using only the finest Italian herbs, imported olive oil, plum tomatoes, and love. Our all-natural Sunday sauces are now available for your family in four delicious flavors and complete authentic Italian dinner packs that will satisfy the most discriminating palate. Dinner packs or Sunday sauces delivered fresh from our kitchen to your dinner table. For ordering information, GrandpaPete.com. We hope you're enjoying Meet the Chef. Remember, it's local, it's real people in our community, and it's exclusively on Mid-Hudson Cable Vision's Channel 11. To be a local sponsor of this program or to have your restaurant featured on Meet the Chef, please contact us at 828-2500, extension 8207 for details. If you're looking for a new car, truck, or SUV, check out Crossroads Ford in Ravina. With a huge inventory ready to roll out the door, the sales team is ready to make great deals. Come take a test drive or check out their website for what's available. Crossroads Ford Complete Service Department will keep your vehicle running great. Crossroads Ford in Ravina, proud to be a 2011 President Award winner, the only one in a 75-mile radius. Welcome back. Now, Mark, we've been working hard all morning. I've been working hard. You, Absolutely. You do this every day. So, you know, it's another day at the office for you. But now i got to be rewarded. I'm going to try this fabulous salmon. Again, tell me how you prepared it again. Uh, very simple. Came in fresh. We just uh, took it off the bone, sliced it, seasoned it with our homemade uh, seasoning. Oh, Floured it so you got a little crispy crust. Mm -hmm. Served it with our garlic wine sauce. And, Jim, we, we also serve it with three vegetables, all our entrees have three vegetables and uh, what's nice is uh, these are fiddlehead ferns that uh, a little local farmer goes out they're only available for about a week it all depends on the weather mm -hmm. uh, you know and he goes out picks all the ferns and I'm the only one that gets them because I tell him every fern you pick I want, I want. yeah so uh, you know I have guys doing that for me all the time you know uh, soft shell crabs are coming out this right. week I'm the first in the area I'll have soft shell crabs nice fresh very nice. So let me try a fiddlehead fern. Absolutely. I'm excited. It's almost like uh, it's like asparagus, you know. We just mm. blanch them, mm -hmm. and uh, we do our, our, our purple cabbage, which uh, people uh, love, too. Um, well, here, here's the thing. My producer said I have to stop eating so much because they 
cannot stand me when I when I eat. But when you come to Yanni's too, I'm sorry. I'm here to eat. Absolutely. You know what I'm and then mm. this is our four-way calamari. Oh. This is has oh, the I'm, uh oh, hold on. <laughs> no. <laughs> this is I mean that this should be illegal. That's how good it is. Awesome. Oh, this is fabulous. Oh. All right, tell me about the calamari. Well, this is the four ways here, uh, like we, we did in the kitchen. We did the uh, the, the Rhode Island and the original. Mm -hmm. This has the uh, chipotle, so if you like a little spice, I this has that. I chipotle, yeah. And then the calamari red, where oh. we, we, we take the original sauce and mix it with marinara, so you don't get just marinara. Mm -hmm. You get a light, lemony uh, red sauce. Yeah, because see, when it comes to seafood, seafood is so unique, and I love Italian. Is it? I love the opera, I love Italian food, but when I have calamari and I'm at a special seafood restaurant, I don't just want a marinara sauce. Right. And so, let me try this, because this looks really unique. Oh. <laughs> I, you are definitely the calamari king. Isn't that great? Oh. oh that's... Now, you said you had dessert, too. Oh, I can't let you leave. Uh, we, we have this uh, dessert that's coming in. Um, we just did a uh, fundraiser. Who, who is this actress here? Oh, this is Amanda Ising. Hi, Amanda. How are you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. She has acting in the future. There's no question. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. Tell us about this. This is unique. Well, we, we just did uh, the Girl Scout <clears throat> fundraiser the other night in Latham, and there was 13 restaurants that participated. And uh, we actually won uh, People's Choice for uh, Best of Show, and we, went, we won Best Entree. And you have to use Girl Scout cookies in each recipe. To make, to create it, yeah. yeah. So uh, this here, this dessert, what we did is we made a truffle pop, kind of a twist on the cake pops that are very popular yes. right now, mm -hmm. and uh, rolled them in the thin mint cookies, the Girl Scout yeah, cookies. Yeah, yeah, we love those. And then we uh, drizzled the um, <clears throat> Girl Scout colors in uh, white and green chocolate. We have that served with a little whipped cream and uh, some chopped nuts. We're going to let this sit here, not because we don't want to jump on it right away, but our producer, Ryan Oswald, and Tom Young, our uh, cameraman over here, they've been eyeing this up. So we're going to leave that <laughs> special for them. Mark, I can't tell you what a joy it was to be with you today. Thank you. A real treat. Yanni's 2 is a restaurant in Queemans, down by the river, that you must come to. It's family. When you come here, it's family. The gourmet quality of it is just extraordinary, but you can relax and enjoy your friends and have a very, very special evening with the Yanni family. We want to thank you for joining us today on Meet the Chef, because every time we come out and meet the public, we meet great people like Mark Yanni, and we don't want you to miss that. We don't want you to miss the next episode of Meet the Chef. <laughs>